Welcome to Let's Play NASCAR 2005, Chase for the Cup, Part 27. And it's time for the second part of our Bush debut doubleheader. Because, fucking, yeah. I think it's, yeah, Bush debut doubleheader. And it's also a Richmond doubleheader, because we have trucks, but I'm not going to be able to qualify for the truck race. Oh, no. But anyways, it's time for the Emerson 250 at Richmond in the Bush series. Yes, I know about the schedule conflict. Suck my dick. Anyways, take it away, Bill Weber, with the intro thing. Thing. EA Sports and the Richmond International Raceway would like to welcome you to tonight's NASCAR Bush Series race. Perfect conditions on the track tonight as these drivers ready themselves for some short track racing here at Richmond. Look for lots of passing and plenty of close calls as these drivers race for a position early on. The green flag is only minutes away. Let's go trackside now for the most famous words in all of racing. So yeah, after a uh, eh, qualifying lap, I ended up going to start 20th. So this is going to go all kinds of awful, I can tell you that right now. Because, uh, yeah, Richmond, it's kind of a difficult track. And I'm not used to driving it in a car that doesn't handle well, i.e. not a modified, so. Oh boy, but there's a the starting grid. Let's get, let's get going here. Starting alongside Kevin Harvick. All right. Because away we go, 62 laps here at Richmond, and let us try not to die. Please. Please, please, please. Yeah. Uh. Shit, fuck. Uh, okay, three wide. Got forced into the wall by whoever called Menard. Damn it, Menard. At least I made it through one and two without fucking everything up. Three and four, not so much. I need to break earlier for this turn than I did. Gonna go nearly as wide. Oh, and I need to go. I. I also need to actually, like, swing out wide on the exit of four because that's what they do. And if I don't, we get situations like what just happened between me and JJ Yilly, so fuck me. That was a beautiful disaster. Oh, yeah. That was a beautiful disaster. Anyways, all the way from 20th to 28th, and I'm still fucking up. The, like, three-day rust is real. Actually, it's been more than three days. I don't even remember the last time I recorded this, actually. Ugh. Let's get some oversteer. Why the fuck not? Racing Harv, 28th spot, and breaking way too late into turn one. Oh yeah. Perfect. 10 out of 10 drive. Racing along with fucking Mr. Kenny, I love my wife's big titties, Wallace. He was slightly angry with me after the fucking Yaley incident. He kind of got caught up in that as well. No, don't go wide. Going wide is bad. And smooth. Take it easy. Got Mr. Fantasy Man behind me. One to uh, take the spot for me, and he will eventually. There's no doubting that he will. It's a matter of when, not if. I lost share drive with Kenny. Damn. Dang it. Don't you just assume my gender? Hmm. Hmm. Come on, buddy. We're getting back. Let's get up there. 
actually not doing too bad considering I'm still in the top 30. I mean, that fucking, you know, crash I had helped out because it split the field up, but it's still. Oh yeah, I saw that thing about fucking removing the surname from Apollo Crews. Isn't it because the fucking Florida shooter man his last name was Cruz or whatever? Spelled differently but still pronounced Cruz or something. I don't even know. Also, hey, look, he got around me. Told you it was a matter of when. Boy, I see who's behind me. It's the anger man. I think we might finally have to deal with angry. Sure. We'll see what happens here. See how angry he is. Uh -huh. Ooh. Can't quite get underneath me there. Somehow managed to accelerate him. Shit. Oh, yep, there he goes. I knew that was going to happen. So, rivalry system. Yeah. If uh, that's what happens if they're like a big enough rival, they will steer into your car. No matter at what point of the track you are, he, he will, they'll steer into you. The good news is they become less of a rival after that. But, there you go. There goes my top 30 performance because of that. So, uh, rip. Just fucking rip. Now I'm stuck on the outside, which means back to the back I go. Predict I'll somehow get a podium. Probably not. I don't think that's happening here. The only t way that would happen is if, like, we had a really fucking weirdly timed caution and pit strategy. Fuel mileage, etc. But I don't think that's gonna happen. No. How's that back marker life? Kinda used to it. Backmarker life is the best life, except not at all. Well, down to 41st. Meanwhile, fucking Cuntle Bush has uh, got quite a large lead up front. <laughs> ah. so I punched the shit out of my microphone. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. But, um,. Yeah. So this Kyle Bush winning in the lower national series? Hmm. Shocking. And down to 42nd. Still not last. Not yet. It's fine. It's okay. Never mind, I'm falling the last. We in for 43rd now, boys. Yeah. And I'm doing nothing to change my lines. Then again, there's no one else that can pass me, so I don't have to worry about staying on the bottom. Oh, pit stops are happening. First wave has begun. I mean, you're trying to Larson Lane in a track and game where that is a very, very bad idea. 
What is go daddy? Is that like a legit question? I feel like it's just meme. Oh no, please don't understeer into him. Yeah, not last. For now. Never mind, that was uh, short lived. I think it's a legit question. Surprising. It was GoDaddy was like a uh, web service for like buying domains. So you go to their website to buy your own website, basically. I have one tea and it makes me happy. I don't have any tea. I'm sad. I am without tea for this stream. Hey, I see a Kevin Harvick behind me. You know, the guy I started uh, next to in this race. Tire Harvick, how you doing? He's got that fresh rubber. And also not a shit car, you know. Quick question, how you connecting your Xbox to your Mac capture card? I'm using the, uh, the, the component cables. Component is cool. Yeah. Because I'm a fucking scrub who doesn't use HDMI. I'm retarded. Where's the drift do? Not here. This is NASCAR. We race, we don't drift. Ain't no fucking dude bro swag fad drift bro 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 bro. Anyways. Halfway. Oh boy. Halfway. Pretty much in last place still. Like pretty much I mean absolutely in last place. H H. Oh shit! Holy fuck! It's sad how this is more entertaining than most NASCAR races recently. Yeah, it's because this doesn't have any retarded gimmicks. Stage racing. Uh. Anyway, and little Kenny, we meet again. NASCAR isn't real. Shit, you got me. Oh God, Junior, how you doing? I heard the 500 was a fucking shit show this year. Like every Daytona and Talladega race. Whoa! But yeah, anyways. I need. Oh god. I need to stop getting loose there. 
I also need to think about actually pitting here. No, I've watched my plenty of plate races, and they're boring as fuck. Also, I hate, you know, the fact that there's always a massive crash in all of them. I think I reached 70 miles per hour a little too soon there, but whatever. Alright. So, time for my pit stop. Gonna take a little wedge out, just to uh, loosen it up a little bit. Because that's gonna go well, yeah. Anyways, I don't like plate races because I like actual racing and not just 40 car follow the leader. And then, like I said, the moment where one person fucking blinks and then suddenly half the field is gone and destroyed. I don't like crashes in racing, and you shouldn't either. I have, to, I have to, like, repeat this statement, is like, if you watch racing for the crashes, you're watching it for the wrong reasons, and you're also a terrible person. What FPS is this running at? 60. Nice, smooth, 60 frames a second, I, I think. It wasn't a 40 car single file parade in the Xfinity race. Still. Maybe it was a 40 car double file parade, excuse me. So I think everything's cycled through now because Ultra Twat's back in the lead and uh, I'm in last to lap down. Yay! NASCAR logic, let's cater to our casual fans by ruining our sport. Yeah, basically. Pretty much. Hey, fanboy. Make a Lightning McQueen comeback. Kerchungi. You ready to kerchow my perplow? I know not what the hell I'm saying. Also, like, this is like the- oh, fuck. That's a wall. Also, like, how this is like the best uh, case of, um, hypocrisy. It's like, I'm playing a NASCAR game while also bitching about NASCAR. It's like, fuck. The video games are still fun, suck my dick. Oh hey, thanks for the bits, fanboy. All ten of them. Oh hey, Johnson. Oh hey, going extremely wide in one and two, because that's gonna help. Even the, uh... The, uh, oh, you lost a lot of positions quickly. Let's rubber band the field. Is not helping me here. So that's that's cool. Just having a grand old time here in last place. I don't see any uh, signs of me finishing not last unless somebody blows up. What the hell is that, Jack? Oh, the fucking first corner quote. It's from a uh, the start of a race at Oscherschleben. I think it was like touring cars or something. There's just a massive fuck shit and a bunch of cars spinning and fuck. Yeah, there's rubber banding on the higher difficulties. I think it's, from what I've experienced, I'm probably wrong. It seems to be determined by how many positions you gain, like, within a certain amount of time. Which is why, like, the game tends to rubber band in your favor if you, like, make a late pit stop, like, after everyone else, because suddenly you just lost a bunch of positions in quick succession, and the game's just like, oh, fuck, well, hang on, let's slow down the field. Something's not right here. I 
And it's not really... I don't think it, like, works in the other way with positions gained. I think in that case, it's more like, oh, hey, you've caught back up and, like, passed somebody. Alright, let's turn the fucking rubber band off back to normal pace. Oh, hey, Jimmer. This man's an animal. And there might be some slight rubber banding going on since I'm keeping up with, you know, like, fifth place here. So, hey. Oh, and Jimmy with the spicy host. Nice. Cool and good. Cool and good. At least me and Fido are becoming friends here. Frickin' Alliance is growing quickly. Whatever, I'm fine chilling behind the Fidua here. It's only 10 laps left, it's fine. And then guess what, I get to stay in the back for another however long the truck race is around here. Woo! Yeah, the rubber band heat evolution was a bit insane. Like, completely fucking ridiculous. It's like, uh-oh, you're a lap down. Let's go around the turns at Atlanta at 120 miles per hour to compensate. Woo! Hi, how you doing? That was way too close. Way, way too close. Nope. Well, so much for chilling with Fidoa for the rest of the race. Hey, Ashton Lewis, remember him? Yeah, this is a good, like, where are they now thing. It's like, look at all these, look at the 2004 Bushfield. Where are they now? On the spotter stand. Or doing other miscellaneous uh, weirdness. Well, fuck that. No shit, please no. Tony Reigns is hard spotter now. I thought it was Fido that was hard spotter. Must. <laughs> that has changed. Also, thank you for the 10 additional bits, fanboy. Four laps to go, boy. Yes, four, not five, because I'm a lap down. Andy Houston is Dylan's spotter. Interesting. I remember it that name. It's about all I remember about Andy Houston is he, his name. He sure existed. Love all those just massive pile tire marks from me into uh, the entrance to turn three. Quality last place finish. The most exciting of last place finishes. Now I've already given up. Like, I'm about to start the final lap, and there's at least, like, I'm a half a lap behind 40 seconds, so yeah, no. It, nothing. Just nothing. Oh god. Speaking of pushing. Alright, well. Except for the incident with the alien. Relatively incident free. Or trouble free, uh. Race. Finish last. 
so. Bush career is off to a great fucking start, let me fucking tell you, man. Yeah. It's okay, I made 10 grand. Oh, hey. Ten load, super chat. I'll read that in a moment. So Kyle Bush won from pole. Because he's a cunt. Won by a second. In a third almost. Or second and a quarter. Because he's a cunt. I don't know. Here's the rest of the results. My boy Blue Castleberry in 24th. Best name. And there you go. Here's all the results. Woo, time for sadness cutscene. Or I congratulate. That's Kyle Bush's model. That's honestly hilarious. They made him fat. It's beautiful. It's be beautiful. It's beautiful. Hey, no messages. All right. Well, there's that. So, great start to our Bush career with two shitty races in a row. Only gained 68 points in two races. Oh, yeah. Uh, but that'll conclude this segment. So, next time, we're going to do some more shitty driving at fucking Richmond with the trucks. So, stay tuned for that, I guess. Uh.